Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Apps Beginner Series. You are watching the fourth part of this series. In this session, we are going to talk about what is Power Apps Canvas app and we are going to get little bit overview about standalone Canvas app in detail. So now, let's get started. First of all, let me explain you what is Power Apps Canvas app. Power Apps Canvas app allows us to design and build the business application from a canvas without writing any traditional programming language like C Sharp. Power Apps Canvas app provides a canvas where we can drag and drop different elements to build our application. It is similar like to prepare a PowerPoint presentation deck. Here we are here it provides a various component or elements based on our requirement we can place those on our canvas and build the app now the question is how we can write a logic to write a logic is a very simple in a power apps it is excel like expression right there are various events and properties that we need to configure in our canvas app with that, Power Apps Canvas app is something which support so many on-premises and online data sources. We can build our application using those data sources very quickly and easily. Also, the Canvas app is a part of Power Platform component, so it can be easily integrated with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint, Power BI. Now, that was the theoretical part. Now, let me explain you how we can use practically the canvas app and let me walk you through different elements of canvas app. Let me move over to my browser and type make.powerapps.com. Once you type make.powerapps.com, it will open home screen of your power apps. On home screen, you can see that canvas app from blank. Just click on that. Just provide any appropriate name for your canvas app. Let me provide my canvas app name is Power Apps Training. Now we need to choose appropriate layout from here. You can build this application either for tablet or for phone. Let me build this application for tablet. One more thing is that Power Apps Canvas app is not by default responsive. We need to make that responsive. We are going to talk more about responsiveness in advanced section of the Power Apps. Right? Now let me just click on create. So that will create standalone Power Apps Canvas app. In the earlier session, the Power Apps that we have created, it was also Canvas app. But it was created using customized form approach of SharePoint. And this is the standalone app. Here, the data source can be anything. You can connect any of the data sources. At this moment, 230 plus data sources are supported here. In order to connect the data sources, go to the view menu, click on the data sources and here there are different connectors available. You can see that so many different connectors are available. Once you click on see all connector, it will show all the available connector. You can see that there are lots of connectors available. Right? Now, we are going to talk more about this in my upcoming video but let me give you the overall idea about what is canvas app and how it is looking like when you click on create canvas app it will create this type of blank canvas for you where you can place different elements right now let me explain you each individual menu option over here when you click on home you have new screen option you can create different type of screen for your canvas app there are different screens like blank, scrollable, list, success, tutorial, email, people, meeting and calendar. Right? In most of the real life use cases, we are using blank screen or scrollable screen. So consider these two points. Right? Now blank screen is something which is which I can see here on my page at this moment. Now scrollable screen is something which is adding this type of header on the top and it allows scroll over here. Also, it provides an option to add a more section over here. So once you add more, one more section, it will create a section like this. So different data cards into our app will be created over here, right? 
we will be check the real use cases in my upcoming session but just consider this scrollable screen like this right now let's say for an example scrollable screen screen is something which would be useful like let's say for an example your form is somewhat which is very large and it is not fit into the current screen basically you want to add a scroll on your page at that time you can use scrollable screen right now apart from this there are other options for other formatting options over here you can check that also whenever you add any element you can also change the different element from the card properties right now if you go to the insert menu there is a there are other controls as well if you want to add label choose this option if you want to add buttons use this option if you want to add text in form of label text input html text rich text editor and pen input use this option if you want to add any input control like button text input pen input drop down combo box date picker list box check box radio button and toggle button you can use this option you can add form using this option you can automatically create edit form and display form using this option you can add different media properties using this option image camera barcode scanner video microsoft stream audio microphone add picture import export various options are there if you want to add any chart you can choose this option there are out of the box icons provided here so you can use this option in customs you can add a new component component is somewhat which is the advanced part of this power apps so we are going to cover later on this session mix reality and ai builder gallery and data table you can add here gallery and data table are most important component of power apps we are going to cover about that in the later session of the video right now similar way if you go to view menu you have the data source option media option collection option variable option and advanced option now a data source is something which is basically used to connect your data sources media option is something if you want to upload any image video audio file for your app we can use this option we cannot upload media files larger than 64 mb over here then collection and variable so basically for your application if you have created any collection or variable you will be able to view the collection or variable using this property advanced property so basically this will open advanced property of the thing that you have selected now if you go to action menu here there are different actions provided you can uh, automatically create some formulas for navigating collection removing on visible on hidden and power automate if you want to connect power automate you can connect using this option so this is the overall idea about the menu option now let me talk talk about this left navigation option here tree view tree view is something which will show the entire structure of your app in the form of a tree insert so if you want to add some of the portion from the insert menu that will be provided here as well data it will automatically show all the available connection as well as if you want to add any additional connection you can add using this option media same as we seen in the view menu this was the overall idea about the canvas app so on a blank canvas you can add different component and you can develop beautiful app for your organization hope this is clear for you now now in the next session we are going to talk about what is the difference between this stand alone canvas app and the app that we have created from the sharepoint list customization and after that we are going to build one real life use case and scenario of live management system and build stand alone canvas app in detail that will be very useful in your real life project and scenarios if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me to learn more power platform concept in power bi power apps power automate power virtual agent teams and sharepoint if you are looking for any consultancy or any corporate training you can connect me on my whatsapp number that is +919537981467
stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notifications from my channel, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.